Fracture represents a substantial burden to public health and healthcare costs in the United States. Although vitamin D supplementation is widely recommended for bone health, studies of its effectiveness in preventing fracture have shown inconsistent results. In this ancillary study of a 2x2 factorial randomized control trial, 25,871 U.S. men 50 years of age or older and women 55 years of age or older who were not recruited on the basis of vitamin D deficiency, osteoporosis, or low bone mass were assigned to receive daily vitamin D3 at a dose of 2,000 international units, or placebo, and were followed for a median of approximately five years. Frequencies of the three primary endpoints were similar among the assigned groups. 5.9% of vitamin D recipients and 6.0% of placebo recipients had a first fracture, while 5.6% of the vitamin D group and 5.7% of the placebo group had a first non-vertebral fracture. For hip fractures, the percentage was 0.4 for both groups. The investigators found no effect modification by any pre-specified baseline characteristic, including age, sex, race or ethnicity, body mass index, use of supplemental calcium or vitamin D, or the level of serum 25-hydroxyvitamin D. Adverse events such as hypercalcemia and kidney stones were not different in the vitamin D and control groups. The authors conclude that supplemental vitamin D did not reduce the risk of bone fractures in U.S. men and women in midlife or older. Full trial results are available at NEJM.org.